I've got to ask you for something. I need your help. I know many of you have gone through this before. I haven't. I need your advice and I need your help. It's Christmas and it's time for me to tell you guys something. Two things. Something, well, in the last few months here in Viking land, I've had some pretty rocky challenges to deal with. But now's the time of year to be thankful. I'm going to tell you what those challenges were, or at least the biggest one of those. And I'm going to tell you why. Every single one of you is an incredibly important person. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. It's great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel for the last just over a year and a half since we started this channel. It's been an incredible journey. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been a lot of hard work. I've struggled at times to deal with the criticism. There's a lot of people saying, great job, well done. But there's a lot of people saying, this is wrong. You didn't say that right. This was wrong. Your lighting was wrong. Your way you look is funny. All kinds of things. And I have struggled with that. But I've got to say, that has been a good thing. It's made me recognize the fact that, you know what? I make a lot of mistakes. I do. And learning from those mistakes is extremely important. If I make mistakes and I just ignore the fact that they exist or ignore people telling me, I don't learn from them. And even though it is hard, it's hard for my ego, it's painful to sometimes hear them, it's been an incredible journey. So I wanna say thank you to all of you for your support, for friending me on Facebook, for sending me emails, for everything you've done. I really appreciate it. And the other thing I wanna say is, we have so much to be grateful for, an insane amount to be grateful for. We have Christmas, right? We can celebrate Christmas. If you're watching this, you've got a computer, you've got the internet, you've got something that people haven't had for 99.999% of human history. The ability to learn, to communicate, to discover new things, it's an amazing gift. There are so many things to be grateful for. And one of those I've discovered lately, is health. I've had some health challenges, some little ones here and there, nothing really significant. I had SIBO for a little while, that sucked. When I first started the channel, I had SIBO for a few months, got rid of that, which was awesome. My son, when he was little, Cal, you guys probably know Cal, if you've seen his channel, I'll put a link to his channel, his YouTube channel in the description below. Jack and Cal, my two boys. Cal didn't grow for a year. He was off the chart, the percentile chart. He literally didn't grow at all for a year when he was a baby. That was a difficult time. And to be honest, the doctors were of almost no help. We had to figure out how to fix the problem ourselves. Fortunately, we did. And then he made an amazing comeback. It was incredible. What a blessing that was. Such an incredible blessing. While in fact, in the last few weeks, my wife was diagnosed with stage three cancer. Uh, it's a pretty serious one. It's not pancreatic cancer. I'll tell you more about it in the future. At the moment, it just feels a bit crazy, a bit unreal almost. So I've been spending a lot of time trying to get her on a treatment plan, trying to work out how to fix her because it seems as though doctors don't really care. They just say surgery, chemo, radiation, that's it, nothing else. That's all they want to do. While I value those things, I have to think to myself, what caused the cancer in the first place? If they do surgery and chemo radiation, which does seem like maybe it's necessary, what's to say it's not going to happen again somewhere else? So I've been trying to work out what this was caused by, how it happened, and how we can stop it from coming back in the future. And it's also been difficult emotionally to deal with that and to deal with a few other things that have happened at the same time. But ultimately, I have to say, I'm incredibly blessed. And I want to tell all of you that I very much appreciate what you do and admire many of you. Many of you have gone in contact with me. You told me what you do, a bit about yourselves. And so many of you are doing amazing stuff, amazing work. I appreciate you, I admire you. And I've got to say, happy Christmas. I hope you have an amazing new year. And as always, my friends, stay positive, stay awesome, keep on learning. Learning is so important. I find learning about new technology, learning about how, how all this stuff that we talk about here on the channel is making the world a better place for our children. That is so important for their children. So important. 
All of this matters. It matters immensely. Fighting the gasoline, the oil companies, we can't directly fight them. But this channel and others like it are evidence that the war is here, the war is real, and the war is happening, and we are winning that war. I tell you how we're winning that war so many times in a little different ways. And I'm sure you know it. But I just want to say to you, we are winning the war. And it is a war. It's a very real war. It's a spiritual war. It's an emotional war, but it's actually really a practical war. And the war is to save the planet. I think we can do it. And I think we're on the right track. Thanks for sticking with us. Have a great year, my friends. Bye-bye.